Okie dokie. Well, it is cast time once again, and let me go ahead and intro this music real quick. Um, this is going to be a Kurt soundtrack, Scourge of the Stars. And again, this is another one from uh, Iron Cthulhu Apocalypse. And um, I didn't put, I didn't post, I didn't choose this one um, out of, or it wasn't my first choice. Hold on. My, uh, my speaker, my external speaker was hissing. I had to unplug it. Weird. Weird how that works. But anyway, um, when I was putting this cast together, I had totally forgotten to, to you know, pick a music album. Um, so this is kind of scrounged together at the last moment. I had another one in mind, but uh, I did my usual copyright check. I downloaded it, downloaded the video, and then re-uploaded it to YouTube. Well, got it uploaded, but then I got, I got to the upload complete. Processing will begin shortly. And I sat there waiting about five or so minutes, and it, it was still doing nothing. So I I went ahead and, uh, like I said, I kind of hurried up and scrounged this together. I might have put this, I might have played this in one of my other cast videos. I don't know, but like I said, this, this wasn't my first choice. So. so let me go ahead and get that going. Slow transition. Okay, but anyway, um, so today's stream, I'm having problems with I'm having problems with crashing again. Um, it just, hang on, I gotta make a I gotta make an adjustment here. Okay, but um, um, try to try to getting FX3 going. It crashed and then for some weird reason um, pinball arcade worked but yeah it just uh, pinball arcade worked but uh, on the downside it's done this before but uh, some of the tables will have what I call a what I will have what I call a void zone like this big black big black wedge shaped space right in the middle of the play field um, I did have a problem with that, but otherwise, um, I can only think of it. I can only think of it happening to two tables, but I, on one of those tables, yeah, I think one of those tables, I actually went back, like after I left that table and came back, the table worked just fine. Um, pistol poker, I think is what it was. So, but. But as for the session, though, damn, I kicked ass. Um, in fact, uh, some piss poor preparation on my part. So let me uh, let me go let me go fetch it real quick. Almost done. <laughs> Mistake number one. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, I beat my high score on Adam's family. Uh, something I can't recall doing in a very, very long time. Uh, but yeah, but killed the high score on that. Um, I think I I broke the top five high scores and a few other tables too, but overall I did good. Um a few occasional flipper flubs here and there, but I mean I have that on every session. I mean You know, not not just on the ones where I say I do really bad on. So But yeah, um But ap after that session was over, um Later on, I also fired up some Gems of War, but like I usually do, I only played it for about maybe 10, 15 minutes. Oh, and I did forget to mention, too, uh, yesterday morning, um, I did play Gems of War for probably about an hour. It was a new week, uh, a new PvP week, so I just played it enough to get my tier from 15 to 1, and then called it good on that. So, and then 
Capcom Fighting Collection. Um, kind of good news, kind of bad news. Good news. Um, Twitch has just added a has just added the channel to their database. So probably tomorrow, I'll I'll try to place I'll try to stream some uh, CFC. Capcom Fighting Collection for short, or CFC for short. So gonna try stream gonna try streaming that tomorrow. But on the downside, um, it does crash. I, I don't remember what caused it, but it it doesn't it doesn't crash like FX3, where basically the screen freezes and then just quits. Um, this time around, it gave me a little a little pop up, little pop up message saying some file doesn't work, like some like I don't know like fatal error or some I don't know what it was, but yeah it it it'll give you a little pop up, but because there's um. Because uh, kind of like Killer Instinct, which I also forgot to mention, also crashed. I tried playing it, went to training mode. Um, the very moment, you know, at the round one fight screen, uh, Killer Instinct froze up, and it's one of those I had to actually go on the Steam page or the Steam menu and close and kill the game from there. I had to do the same thing with Cat, uh, CFC as well. I had to go on the Steam page and. Shut the game. Shut the game down from there. So, but um, I went ahead and made a second attempt. But like I said, um, there was a in CFC there was a, a specific thing I did. I don't remember what. I went on the on I I went on the online mode. Um, try to and um and. Kind of a side note, one of the cool features that CFC has is um no, most other games um I think most of the fighting games that I can think of when you uh when you queue up for an online match No wait, I take that back. I take that back. Yeah, a lot of fighting games have it. I I think there was there's probably at least one fighting game I played where the moment you queue up for a ma for a for an online match, you have to sit and wait and twiddle your thumbs until you actually get one. Like you can't do anything else. I think there's probably at least one or at least one fighting game I played. Can't remember which one where that was the case. You um you queue up and you get waiting for a opponent. And then you had to you had to like sit there and wait until you actually got one. Like you couldn't do anything else, like no way to keep busy. But yeah, I, I but I kinda stand corrected on that. CFC, um in fact that it actually gives you a choice. Once you queue up for the match, you can either you can pick a game and you can pick a game and play it while you wait, or you can go to uh you can go to the museum and you can like check out like uh sound bite sound bites, soundtracks, you can uh you can look at art, concept art, and stuff like that. Like you, you know, you can, you can keep busy for a while until your match comes up. So, but anyway, um, but yeah, did a couple, uh, couple online matches. One for uh, Super Puzzle Fighter. Um, I didn't royally get my ass kicked, but I did lose both times. It was the best two out of three. Um, then I, I uh, did another one for Vampire Savior. Um, but uh. I mean, I, I uh, back in the '90s, I only played Darkstalkers, the very, very first one, like a couple times. So I'm like thoroughly ignorant, thoroughly ignorant on any of these characters. Like, I just random select. I mean, there's at least in my mind, there's no point in trying to ma trying to pick one and mastering them. It's just I'm gonna suck with all of them. Plus, it's it, it just it's just carry over from pinball. When when uh, streaming pinball, especially pinball arcade and Zachariah, I always prefer to play random tables. And if somebody um, uh, now if somebody had a table request, I'm down for those. Um, especially if uh if it's a table that I haven't played yet, that I haven't played that session, I don't like playing the same table twice. So, but that that kind of that kind of philosophy slash mentality. Carried over and carries over into fighting games. I prefer random selecting. 
to be like I like I said. Um, I don't. I think my ran my random select came up Morgan. She's basically the Ryu of uh, Darkstalkers. But like I said, I I spend time in training mode. I do um uh, I play offline, offline arcade mode, but apparently not enough because he either that or the guy I was up against, he really knew what he was doing. He must have been playing this game a lot because I didn't have a freaking prayer. Eventually, I just keep getting pushed into a corner and couldn't do much. It was um he was basically beating me with rushdown. So just bait. For those that don't know what rushdown means, it's attack, 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 attack. Like you, there's no let up. Like they just, you're just constantly persisting. So, but anyway, um, and uh, I also found out that uh, kind of this is kind of a for what it's worth, but I thought for a while that if you had a, if you have a, one button specials turned on. Um, only you are going to know that, not your opponent. Well, I I took a look at the uh, matchup screen just before the battle started, and then I kind of noticed that it had a little icon next to my name. I think I said, like, it had, like, one BTM, like, one button. So it looks like you're, uh, so it looks like your opponent will know whether or not you have that turned on. So, But not like it really mattered anyway, because like I said, I got my ass kicked. And even then, um, even during training mode and you know, doing our training and arcade and all that. I only use the uh, one button specials if I can't get the damn motion input to work. So I only have that as a backup. But um, after but after those two, I just kind of lost interest. Uh, one one uh, just kind of need to go lick my wounds. And then secondly, if I'm not streaming that game, it just doesn't feel right. So. But like I said, tomorrow, um, I'll probably be streaming on uh, CFC. So, uh, assuming it doesn't doesn't outright crash like FX3 or Killer Instinct. But like I said, I was able to play it. So. I do something real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea and um. I'm gonna turn this up from my end. I can hardly hear it. Okay. So again, I'm gonna take a drink. So, uh, what other thing I did while I was putting this cast together? Um, a new channel came up on my uh my YouTube recommendations, the live stream. It's um they play uh, Japanese pop music, um, pop, rock. Um, I believe uh, if you've ever heard the genre city pop, that came from Japan as far as I know. But in, in all this music, it, uh, it came from like the 70s and 80s. So I'm like, man, this is some pretty good stuff. So it just it's some great background music to listen to while, you know, getting all my visuals and all that other, all that other stuff. Oh, and um, I need to rewind back a little bit. Um, I did play a fair amount of Idle Champs. In fact, probably after this cast is over, I'll probably go back to it. But um, I'm kind of on a learning curve with that game. I'm just learning some new stuff. And then um, secondly, unlike a lot of other games, it doesn't crash. I mean, kind of. I mean, kind of like Gems of War. But I mean, Gems of War. I don't. The absolute longest I want to play that game these days is an hour. And that's just again for my uh for the uh the weekly PvP reset. But otherwise I only want to play for like fifteen minutes or so. So but like I said, idle idle champs, it doesn't crash. The most it'll do is flicker. Which was it was doing a fair amount of earlier. So looks like uh, idle champs is probably gonna be carrying me for a while. And then um, DNF Duel, um, I think that game there is going to be a no-go. There's um, there's videos that have come out recently about a, like a beginner's guide and, you know, what character does what and all that. But I might watch that. But aside from that, I'm 
definitely not going to be getting it. I said this yesterday. One, it costs 50 bucks. And considering I work part-time and I'm basically, I'm living at a loss right now. Um, it's financially not, it's I'm financially unsustainable. Um, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk paying the 50 bucks. Uh, finding out that I don't like it or it doesn't work on my computer for one reason or another. And then turn around, have to turn it back or have to get a refund on it. And then if I get if I get refused for whatever reason, then I'm out 50 bucks. So, yeah, I, I don't want to make that commitment. And it's also, like I said, too, um, as far as the uh, spec requirements, I could probably play it, but not stream it. So, and then, like, like I said, with uh, Capcom Fighting Collection, it, for a game like DNF Duel, if I can't stream it, then I don't really want to play it. It just doesn't feel right. So, and then um, something else too. Um, while listening to this um, '70s Japanese music, it actually kind of inspired me to fire up some more uh, Amoeba Amoeba Records. It's another channel I check out from time to time. So it just kind of kind of inspired me to watch some more of that. Just just various artists going in the record store. Um, I think they have like a $200 budge, budget or something like that. Buy all the record CDs, paraphernalia and whatnot, and then they sit on the couch and they get interviewed. Well, I, I picked this out because it's her fucking life story here, you know. I mean, so, I mean, sometimes the stories behind the stuff they get is pretty cool, but when it's like a damn, when it's like this super long speech, I end up having to cut it off or having to fast forward or something. But then um, it also uh, it fired, it also uh, I just, it, I also felt like firing up uh, another video that I haven't been watching in a while. It's uh, every music genre explained. I actually uh, talked about this in one of my recent cast videos. Um, he basically he talks about every single music genre out there, and then plays various uh, music and video clips on them. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink here. So yeah, no, um, I'll. Chances are I'll. I'll probably watch some more Amoeba and some more of this uh, music genre iceberg video as well too. After after this uh, cast video, and has some idle going on in the background. So unless mood takes me otherwise. Oh, and um, I forgot to mention too. It. This is another for what it's worth, but uh, I did do a. I made a video yesterday morning about uh, sponsorships um I don't remember much about it but I do know that uh um on one end hell yeah I'd love it I mean if I could uh you know if uh make be you know content creation paid all my bills hell yeah but considering all the hoops that you have to jump through to make that possible no thanks I'll keep my overnight job at Walmart thank you so that was that that was basically the, the one big takeaway from that from that video I made. So. But otherwise, um, that'll do it. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say today, so, so I'll just go ahead and call it good. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, though, everybody. I appreciate that. Always do. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow, So, which will be my last one for the week. So, but until then, whew, well, whistler ain't working. Anyway, but see you all next time, and bye for now.